Make sure that the Apple Bundle ID on your Glassify setting page for your app matches the bundle URL for your application. To create Glassify products that match the subscriptions that you set up in App Store Connect, click on the Products tab. Create a SKU for each one of your subscriptions. The SKU ID can be used for products on the App Store, Play Store, or Paddle, so it's generic. Ours is an App Store product subscription, and the ID is the one that you set up in App Store Connect. And you repeat that for each one of your subscriptions. These two SKUs offer the same permission just for different time periods. So create a permission and give it a unique Glassify ID and description. Then you can add the relevant SKUs to this permission. You can have multiple different kinds of offerings mixing up your SKUs. And even though in this case, it's just a single offering, by adding an offering, you can use a Glassify function, as you'll see shortly, to fetch the SKUs based on an offering grouping. You provide an identifier and a description, and like permissions, you add the SKUs that correspond to this offering.